Hello, I'm Sanjeev Crowley and welcome to the British Academy Scotland Awards 2019 with highlights from the red carpet and the ceremony. Any of the nominees tonight caught your eye this year? There's so much good stuff out there, so much. And also you can see stuff as well that you think will be recognised next year, like I've just been watching Guilt. Um, Beats I loved, Wild Rose I loved. Um, congratulations for, you know, the still game being recognised tonight as well, quite rightly so. And I, I think the room's going to explode at that moment. Guilt, oh. it is brilliant. It is brilliant. It, it was a, like a dream come true. And I love Neil's writing, I think Neil's so so adept at not only weaving all those different strands of story together to interlace all that with the most incredible one-liners people keep tweeting me about fuck wittery <laughs> it's their new favorite swear word very busy it's my year of saying yes yes to everything if still game hadn't finished damn it i'd have been there in the shop as an assistant uh, uh, happily i'd have been there how much is a curly whirly uh thrappins your bins when was the last time you bought a curly whirly? I need to check something. You know I'm, you know I'm checking, don't you? Waistcoat, man. It's done me for the rest of. Because I think I loved a waistcoat before it. No, but for the rest of any night, I can't really wear them anymore. Well, that's rubbish. You do like a good lining. Yes. Oh, there you go. Well, I'm joined now by. I can imagine the only uh, mother and daughter combo that uh, is going to be on the red carpet tonight is Janie Godley and Ashley Story, everyone. How are you guys? We are wonderful. Um, spent all day doing what hair. Is it nice? Yes. Well, is that, what is that in your hair? Does it light up? Is It kind of looks... Sparkle, sar sparkle, Sanjeev, to catch your eye. Uh, I can't get too close because both wearing velvet. We might cause some kind of explosion. Yeah, but not just from the velvet, from your talent. Oh, what a charmer you are. You are a charmer. Listen, sex education, great reaction. I, I knew it was beautiful, I knew it was amazing, but I had no idea that it was gonna take off as well as it did, and it has, and it's amazing, and I can pay my bills now, so I'm very happy. Your um, performance in Stan and Ollie is, is just beautiful. Oh, thank you, darling, thank you, it's very kind. We improvised a lot, or we, yeah, we sort of offered up suggestions and played around, and, and John was game for that. We, we got to kind of just put our ideas out there, and, and it was great. It was great fun to be able to do that. So. I've been on board with Outlander for about three or four years, I think. Do you get a chance to do other stuff then? Yeah, we, we normally have quite a chunky hiatus, like maybe four or five months or so. So between season two and three, I did, uh, I think, From Darkness. Between season three and four, I did... Uh, the replacement. Congratulations on the use of Chunky Hiatus, which is my favourite prog rock band. I'm here tonight um, as exec producer of The Cry, uh, uh, which is nominated for Best Series and Best Writer and Best Performance from Jenna Coleman, um, and also as one of the producers on Only You, which is nominated for Best Film. Uh, congratulations on, uh, on uh, well, everything. I mean, it's a brilliant year, hasn't it? Yeah, I mean, I'm very lucky to be honest, mate. And I used to be a waiter in this building. Um, I used to come in the back entrance and do silver service when I was like 16. So to come in the front on a red carpet is uh, very surreal and uh, humbling. I don't know. Yeah. And talk to me about the Scottish Baptist because you were one of the progenitors of the Scottish Baptist, weren't you? I, I pushed for it because I think it's important for Scotland to take a good look at itself on a regular basis but more importantly, to encourage the talent and the skills and the crafts that we have. Good evening, Glasgow. How are you all? Good? Come on. Woo! <laughs> yeah! yeah. Put that glass of wine down, yeah. <laughs> I, I won't swear, he might. Um, you get into television so that you can tell amazing stories and that show what's common and what is universal in the human spirit. Tonight's recipient is one of our very finest script supervisors. 
and one of Scotland's own. Ladies and gentlemen, a huge big welcome and a big hand for Pat Rambo. Story and performance, I think, are the core of a good film. Ever since I met Beth about five years ago, I was like, we could win one of those Scottish BAFTAs. <laughs> Can we? Uh, can I just ask, right, does anybody here actually know how to tie a bow tie? Could have done with you earlier. And the BAFTA Scotland Award goes to Wild Rose. <laughs> Nicole always said that um, this film for her was like a love letter to Glasgow, so to be here today um, receiving this award is, is beyond an honour. So thank you to, to BAFTA. Congratulations, Wild Rose. I love the film. Who else I need to say thank you to? I'm terrible at this. Bear with me. There was somebody else. Your mother. My mother. She's going to kick the shit out of me if I don't say. Mum, thank you so much. Um, I'm holding this in both hands for continuity purposes. This is brilliant, like I've never just been given so much shit in my life. We're delighted. Thank you so much. We will be back every year. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, thank you to my mum and my dad. Yes! And my amazing brother. I love you all. Uh, thanks to Andy Murray, because what an inspiration, am I right? Just... Make something that's true to a place, true to the people, to the culture and the language, and people will respond to it no matter where they're from. This is a cracker. I'm, I'm really delighted. BAFTA Scotland, um, thank you so much for this honour. Um, we've had an amazing time over these last 17 years making Still Game, and this is a lovely way to mark it. So thank you so much, Jude, and everybody else at BAFTA Scotland. I hope you have a great night. Um, and from the bottom of my heart, I thank you. Thank you.